3.3. What? 3.3. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> How do you feel about it? It was uh, one of the negatives with having it midday is not being able to see the light as clearly. So it was somewhat difficult to. It was a little stressful to not have 100% control. I mean, if you have the light, it's important that it's there. If not, it can only stress you with you know, trying to watch something that's not as visible as it usually is. But uh, I knew that I could, could run fast, but the main objective of the race was to test myself and to see uh, what I could do. So I would say it was a somewhat conservative pace the first two laps and then tried to push as hard as I could with 890 to go. So it was a very good race. How was the wind on the back straight? Challenging. It's uh, definitely not optimal. I would love for Eric to go 100 meter further uh, or I would love to have a pacemaker with one lap to go like <laughs> the other guys had in the 90s. But it's you gotta work with what you uh, what you got it was uh i knew that probably i would have a pacemaker to 900 so it's definitely like my race in uh, silesia it's uh, a very good race a very good time but it's definitely some things that it's still uh possible to improve so it's uh i would say it's a very good thing you know, did you, did thank you? What? Did Yard thank you? No, it's there's uh, too much disrespect in this sport. <laughs> Nobody's thanking the main pacer. <laughs> <laughs> did you ask for the pace lights to be set to world record pace? And if so, when did you? No, it was it had nothing to do with the the world record. I set the the lights for my own liking, and it just happened to be a tenth of a second faster than the world record. Uh, but as I mentioned, the first two laps was you know, a decent pace. And then it sped up a little bit on the third lap and then some more the, the last lap. Uh, and I knew that I was gonna rub sub 46 at least, but you know, I just wanted to, to have the light as a, a reference, but uh, in a somewhat strong finish. And it was your reaction to uh, probably at least on the Goosey Shadow what? What was your action in Nagus being that close? Did you, did you sense his, his nearness at all or not? You know, it's it's easy to, to run uh, fast with someone in front, uh, but he, he's obviously, you know, uh, maximizing the opportunity that he's given, uh, which is what it's all about. It's about, uh, you know, competing, being there when it matters, and obviously uh, trying to do as good as you can when uh, the, the opportunity comes. Uh, but it's it's fun for for me and, and for him as well to you know we're not here to do anything else than put, put ourselves out there and try to see how fast we can run so of course that's that's what this sport is all about to try to push the limits and obviously we're both breaking records uh, and uh, both excited for the future this feels like the most like winded we've caught you kind of to do interviews after a race. Like, how exhausting was this effort compared to like the other world records this season? Not too bad. <laughs> really? I mean, it depends what you're doing. Today was was obviously for me to try to push myself as much as I could because I know what that meant, uh, you know, fast time. Uh, and as I said, I was I wanted to. To have this race to be, you know, a time trial against the clock to see what I'm capable of in the mile. I don't uh, run the distance, you know, too often, so it's it's all about trying to get a good time when uh, when I get a chance. Do you think this was the greatest performance of your career, and if not, what would be? No, I would say this and um, my race in Silesia is definitely one of the best. It's. I know that I'm in a, a very good shape, but still it's it's about going, you know, hard from the beginning, but also, you know, staying, staying in, uh, you know, the lactate and uh, because it's, it's fairly tough already from after two laps, like it was in Silesia, but it's, it's about not slowing down, but trying to keep the stride and keep the momentum going, but it's, uh, 
that's what it takes to, to try to run fast. I'm sure it was somewhat bittersweet to run so fast, but just to miss the world record. Are you feeling more bitter or no, sweet not, about that performance? No, it's not just. It's quite a margin. It's just, it's just that the world record is so good that no one has ever come close. So it seems like it's close because I'm the second fastest, but it's, 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 today was, was all about myself. And it's, uh, as I mentioned, it's, I believe I'm gonna improve uh, like I did this year, going into next year and the next year after that. So it's all about trying to do as good as you can with the, the tools and the cards that I've been dealt and uh, put it to save timeline. I have a good feeling that I'm gonna go have more chances in the future. Yeah, and Yard was closer to you than we've seen someone else come on the Diamond League this year. Like, how do you feel about him closing the gap? <clears throat> uh, you know, every race it's it's all the race. It's it's good for him to you know get a good race, but yeah, it is what it is. It's it good for good for both of us, and obviously it's it's better if we can. You know, have multiple athletes competing against each other to, to run fast and to break records. And not only have one guy in the front running by himself, because then I could just do it in my whole track in Sanus. Cool down, race tomorrow. Yeah. All right, congratulations.